Hey folks, welcome back to Lords of Midnight. Alright, so in the last episode, we were trying to... Uh, yeah, we saved more Guard. Once we realised that we were able to actually retreat from battles, that kind of changed the strategy of things a little bit. Uh, you'll see now though, that a whole bunch of our troops are now engaged in combat. Um, so it looks like Thrall got caught, as did more Guard. Let's let's take, have a look at Morkin first and see what happened. Um, just bear with me folks, I'm just going to move my microphone a little bit so I can actually see my keyboard. Okay, let's see what happened in this battle. In the Battle of Shadows, Morkin alone slew 15 of the enemy, the battle continues. Um, let's just see what happened with the with uh, guard. He's, guards is the important one here because if I remember right he was, he was tired. So, okay, guard lost 195 warriors and 205 riders, that's a lot. He slew 15 of the enemy, his warriors slew 30, his riders slew 65, the battle continues. Yeah, we've been caught here, we need to move. Now, I don't know how far we're going to get. Um, let's just think about this. Yeah, we can't control, we've got to control Morkin. So, it helped to use the right keys. Uh, we've got to try and get out of here. Okay. So we've got um, those guys to the east. Hmm. Yeah, Morkin can't move. Yeah, he's, he's stuck here. Ooh, this is not good. Okay. Okay, we've got uh, guard is stuck, but we can get away. Morkin can get away. Morkin might. Oh, okay. He's utterly tired and he can't continue. Oh, okay. Yikes. Now. Uh, Morkin's kind of in trouble here. Uh, he's still got his horse. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. There's nothing we can do there. So, Guard is going to continue fighting. Um, Guard's going to lose. He's going to die, I think. Um, okay. We've got Lord of Dregrim. Where was the Lord of Dregrim? I'm trying to find, remember where he was. Let's just get back here. Okay, right. That guy here is on the kind of uh, southeast of the map, or south of the or east of the map, I should say. So there's the Citadel of Dregrim. Is he a Fey? Yes. Okay. So um, the Lord of Dregrim is a Fey. You can tell by his blue armor and green shield. Um, I think we are going to probably have to. Let's come down south, and then we'll we'll kind of swing around and pick up whatever we can pick up down here in the south, and then we'll head towards City of Jag Zad Zadikith. Because I think what's going to happen there. We found the shadows of death, which drained him of vigor. No, okay, he's he's tired, so he can't move. He's not going to be able to move any further. Yeah, he can't move. I think he got one of those before as well. You've got to be a bit careful of those um, those cans or whatever they are. They're they they seem to have that event quite a lot. All right. Um, Luxor. Now, um, in my in my notes, look, I I I said that I wanted to bring Luxor. To bring the ring and the moon closer. I think it's the moon ring, isn't it? Yeah. So we want to bring the moon ring closer. Let's pick up some troops here. Yeah, actually, we can't take any from that. Okay, we've got an army uh, in front of us. That is um, Thimrath the Fey. Yeah, he's also, a, yeah, he's got the blue armor as well. So, and his name gives it away. I was just making sure that I made the right the right choice before with the other guy. Ah, okay, so we've got, oh. Okay, looking to the uh, west. Yeah, I think, so that down there is, is Luxor. But we do not want to get into a battle here. There, it looks like there's way too many troops. Uh, we're also utterly tired. We might not be able to move away. Wow, okay. So Doomdark's got 1,000 uh, riders here, and in front of him there's even more. Um, I think the best thing for us to do is to retreat. We're close to the Citadel of the Dawn. Um, I don't know if we'll make it there. Yeah, let's head off to the southeast, and we'll head towards Luxor. We're probably not going to be able to move too far. Okay, we made it as far as the keep. 
keep of Coralay. What we could do here is we could probably defend this keep for a little while with Luxor. Um, although what will happen now is I think Doom Dark is going to start sending the, the, you know, his forces down this way. I'm I'm not really convinced that Morkin is going to be able to continue too far. Uh, Zajakith. Uh, I was sending him out this way, wasn't I, to find more troops. Uh, so he wants to go east. Let's just kill those wolves. Sorry, I thought we'd killed those. There we are. Okay. He's utterly invigorated. And his army's very invigorated. Okay. He found the sword Wolf Slayer. Found shelter and is is refreshed in the uh, in the fort. Okay. Okay, we can't take any troops from here. There are more. There is another fort that way. Uh, we're just sort of unlocking more of the map. You know, unveiling more of the map this way. It's interesting. There's another kind of circular. There's a couple of circular. Uh, there's plains surrounded by mountains. Is what I'm getting at by the looks of it here, at least. Anyway, unless they're thick mountains, which is possible. Uh, we just we haven't seen what's in there yet. Okay, let's get back to let's get back to Luxor. I wonder if Luxor can hold this fort. He's utterly invigorated, utterly bold. Uh, oh, his riders are tired. Okay, that wasn't the best move then. Yeah, it's only 1,000 riders. Yeah, um, so his warriors are very tired. His riders are quite tired. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to undo that move because that was a bit of a mistake. I don't think we should move in here. Um, yeah, let's get him... Let's retreat him back a little way. And they'll probably stop to fight the fort, I would have thought. But I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I'm guessing. I still don't really know how the AI works in this game. Okay. Let's take a look at Corleth. Uh, Corleth, we were just going to use to. Oops, let's unhide him. Remember, Corleth can move relatively unimpeded in the in the mountain uh, in the forests. Okay. Found the Lord Wolf Slayer. He's quite sl he's quite tired. Okay, let's get him hidden. All right. Now we've got uh, we've got a bunch of battles going on. Uh, Thrall is is currently engaged in battle. Let's just see what happened here. He's still alive at least. He's he's really really tired. The ice fear is mild. Thrall is bold. Uh, he, he lost sixty five warriors and fifty five riders. He alone slew forty of the enemy. His warriors slew fifty five. His riders slew seventy five. The battle continues. Uh, he might be locked into the combat here. So let's see where he is exactly. We need to get down to that lake. Yeah, we want to be going southwest, so. Okay, he found the waters of life which fill him with vigor. Um, he's utterly invigorated and his army will also be utterly invigorated. He's still got 510 warriors, 230 riders. It's not really enough to fight with. I think we probably... Yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder if we can try to get him over here to sort of get closer to Morkin. What do we think of that strategy? I think for a start, he's got quite a long way to go. And by the time he's marched over there, he's probably going to, you know, there's going to be a lot of armies over here, I think. So the, I don't know how, whether the Plain of Blood will be, will still be surrounded. There's only one way to find out, I guess. We can go and actually have a peek. Okay, we've got to fight these wolves. She uh, won with the sword Wolf Slayer. Ah, there we go, look. We've got a whole bunch of armies here, look. One, two, three. Yeah, I think this is looking probably a little bit beyond us. Let's get, escape back into the forest. If they follow us into the forest and fight us while we're, we're fairly well rested i think you know we've got a fair chance of being able to do some damage and escape 
So there wouldn't be the end of the world if that happened. Let's have a look at what's going on with Marikith. Now, Marikith is looking out to the west. And as you can see, there's at least two armies here. Three, three armies. Now, none of these are our troops. Um, instead, let's go and have a look at Kumar. Kumar was in a battle. He lost 70 warriors and 30 riders. He alone slew 45. Uh, his warriors slew 310. His uh, riders slew 225. The battle continues. Okay. And they're all invigorated. So these guys are... Oh, his warriors are utterly tired. Oh, so that's Herath. Sorry. Uh, Kumar's troops are, are invigorated. Sorry, I'm, I'm not paying attention. So, But the other guys, they've got two tired armies. Uh, Lord Hereth and Utarg. Um, all right, but we are free of the battle by the looks of it. So let me just check that. Sorry, wrong button. Still getting used to the controls on this. So um, yeah, the battle, it says the battle continues. I wonder if that was just continuing to the next player. Uh, we want, let's just have a look at Utarg. Okay, he lost 40 riders. He slew 70 of the enemy. Wow, he's strong. Uh, his riders slew 165. The battle continues. He's losing riders. And then we'll check uh, Herath, who I expect is not very doing very well. He's slightly tired. Uh, he's afraid. Okay, he lost 65 uh, warriors and 85 riders. That's quite significant. Herath alone slew 25 of the enemy. His warriors slew 175. His riders slew 120. The battle continues. I don't see any uh, enemy around us, apart from those dragons nearby. Okay. So we've got more troops incoming this way. Um, we do probably need to think about relieving. Yeah, it's one army at least. Let's get Herath here and we'll see what we can see. Army of no worries and 1,120 riders. There's another army behind them as well. And then from behind that we can actually see the, the troops that are starting to press on Mar um, Marakith as well. One, two, three, yeah. Ugh. I don't know how long we can stay here. Now remember that our goal is to is to get the Ice Crown, right? Really. Um, and if we can't, um, I, I can't remember if I said so, but if you can't get the Ice Crown for whatever reason, then you need to take the city, uh, the citadel of Uzgarak. That's that's your other objective. Um, so, you know, either destroy the Ice Crown or take the city of Uzgarak. That is going to be really, really difficult to do if you can't, if, the, you know, if Doomdark has got a lot of troops. Uh, you really need to kind of whittle his troops down. So... Um, so the, the plan that I've been going with is just to try to destroy as many as I can before we head down to Zadjikith. I think we've got to the point now where Zadjikith is probably going to come under attack. Um, really, I think I should have sent Guard probably wanted to come down this way. Because we're going to get Doomdark's troops coming down here, coming down here. And maybe through the mountains as well, potentially. Uh, so uh, Zadjikith can't fall. If it does, then we, it's up to Morkin. And yeah, it's going to be... Morkin's going to have to do the job. And so far, Morkin, I haven't really been very effective with him. I, usually I kind of rush him up here. But I haven't had good success with that before. So I thought, you know, kind of a more measured approach might work. We'll see. Anyway. What do we do with these guys? Yeah, they're very tired. We just I think they're all all really tired. I think we just need to keep them here. If they if they do come under attack by multiple armies, we can at least, you know, stand and fight for a while before we retreat. Uh, but I need to they do need they need not to be so tired basically. Um now I don't remember if anyone's got that lake. Who's got the biggest armor I wonder? 1000 200 warriors and 500 riders 1200 and 800 so shimmerel has got a lot as well okay here's what we could do he's quite tired he's bold shimmerel is bold dawn is quite afraid and blood is utterly bold right here's a plan 
Let's get Marrakesh to put as many of his troops here as we can. And Shimmeril. Okay, we can't grab any of those troops out for some reason, I think. Okay, that's odd. I thought I was able to do that before. Maybe Blood can do it. Yeah, Blood can grab them. Uh, yeah, so... His Warriors are utterly tired. His Riders are very tired. I want, the reason why I'm doing this, by the way, guys, is because I'm thinking I might be able to sneak out and get that lake here. And I can't remember if I took it or not, but it's worth a try. Okay, there we go. Shimmeril's going to put some into there. And then Blood. There's a bit of an archaic UI. I think a lot of people would be like, oh, I don't like the UI. The UI's old. It's like, yeah, it is old. Okay, Blood can't take any more. Um, let me just see how his army is. So 1,155 warriors, 1,180 warriors. They're they're utterly tired. Right, let's get let's get blood out here. Found the waters of life with filling with vigor. Okay, right. These guys, blood is now reinvigorated. But look what we can see. We've got one army in front of us. Two, three, and we've got four, five. So we've got five armies at least, but we can't see any more coming from the west. Um, the The question is, if we sit in that citadel, can we fight these guys? They've got warriors on this side, look. 1,200 warriors. Now we know how how well we can fight when they are invigorated and in a, in a citadel. They can do really well. Uh, they've got 1,200 riders. Okay, so Blood is well invigorated. He's utterly bold. He's he's not very he doesn't feel fear. <laughs> he's he's got a name like Lord Blood though. You know he's bound to be he's bound to be a tough guy. Um. Okay, yeah, that was the best thing we could have done. I think there. So we've actually reju rejuvenated at least one of our armies. The, the other guys are going to wait now. He doesn't get the benefit of wait of the rest, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to keep the rest of them waiting. Um. Yeah, Herath here. Looks like those guys are actually still in combat. I wonder if we try to escape these guys back. The problem is doing that then would mean that these uh, these lot would be under more... They'd be under attack again. Um, Kumar here. He's invigorated, so Kumar could keep fighting... Uh, Utaga's hired though. Yeah. Um, I think what we do, yeah, I think they're, they're going to be under attack and then they'll be fighting, so they won't be able to re rest. So I think we need to retreat Utarg here. So he's going to stay here. Found shelter and is, ret uh, is refreshed. The riders are tired. Okay. Ah, okay, and ahead of us, we've got more. Uh, 250 riders of the Doom Guard. Yeah, we get that's going to be hard for us to take. 800 riders, and they've got to, yeah, they, they'll win that battle. I've, I've learned my lesson there. Okay, we're just going to stay in that village. So I think probably going to, Herath is going to have to do a bit of a runner. As we would say. Okay, Heras made it back to the Citadel of Marrakith. So it's just Kumar on his own. I think he's he's strong enough and he's he's rested enough to probably be able to withhold, you know, withstand one of these forces coming in. Um What to do with Utarg though? Yeah, the keep of Kumar is is kind of blocking this. I don't think we can go around it, can we? Oh, we can. We can go through the mountains. But that would tire us out even more. Oh, man, this is such a cool game. This is a really cool game. So simple, and yet, you know, 
I mean, just really, really interesting, really, really interestingly designed game. Okay, we were we were blocked from the north. I remember going this way before. Now I actually watched a little bit of my video back, and what I missed was there is a lord under attack here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get him out. So I think uh, that's going to be the the Lord of Ithril. Or Ithril. Yeah, I think it's the Lord of Ithril. I think we're just going to have to keep going north. Okay. Rawthor on the Wise found... Wow, look at all these lakes. It's interesting. There's, lots, there's three lakes up here. Yeah, he's very invigorated. Let's just hide him for the night. And then we're going to hit an uh, end turn, I think. We're going to roll the night on. Uh, I think everybody else has pretty much moved. Timreth. Timreth. Yeah, he's at the keep of Coralie. Good, 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 good. Um, things aren't looking good for uh, got Morkin and Guard, but I think otherwise... Apart from the, you know, the problems that I've made through getting myself into a bit of a mess, <laughs> I think we're doing okay. <laughs> Not bad for a first proper game, eh? Okay, so it's only 13 days as well since the war started. I think, you know, people can sometimes complete the game within about 15 to 20 days. I think that's quite doable. So that would be with the Morkin, you know, kind of... The RPG star victory. Okay, so uh, Domain of Shadows and Marrakith and of Hereth and Ithrawn and Brith, Morning and of Dawn. Okay. Who's in combat? Guard is still in combat. Let's see if he can escape. I don't think he'll be able to. He lost 300 warriors, 250 riders. He, slew, he alone slew 25 of the enemy. His warriors slew 35, his riders slew 35. Yeah, we're, we're getting creamed. 105 warriors, but no riders. Yeah, he's, he can't move. I think he's going to be defeated. Morkin is tired as well. He's utterly tired. He found the Hand of Dark, which brings death to the day. It's his knight, and Morkin is utterly tired. Okay, so he, uh, that ended his turn. All right, we'll see what happens. Still on his horse. Um, where can we go now? All right. Zadjikith, let's go and grab these guys from this keep here. Okay, you can't take those either. There's just not enough there. Okay, I think what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring Zadjikith back. I'm going to bring him back to the Citadel Zadjikith and await the inevitable arrival of Doomdark's forces. We need somebody strong who's going to be in there. And I assume this guy's kind of strong, but I might be guessing. Um, okay, looks like the moon's full, Prince. Looks like we've got a, at least one, two, and there's another army there, three. These guys are, are horse horsemen. Yeah, Luxor's troops are tired. Quite tired and very tired, respectively. We've got 985 warriors. Um, yeah, he's just going to stay here. He will rest up a bit if he stays. Timraeth is also here. I think he's also going to be tired. Yeah, utterly tired. Okay, he can... I think he can stay... Ah, oh, hold on. Do you have a lake? Sorry, wrong one. Northeast, and then there's one to the southwest as well. Okay. Luxor is going to go and grab that lake. Okay, filled with vigor. One. Where are we? There we are. the one he wanted to be in yes keep a Coralie. well i can't see the army anymore it's kind of interesting okay um and then i guess timraith i might just retreat 
Let's have him going south. Oh, what's that over there? The village across those mountains. He's going to be tired, though. Armies are utterly tired. Yeah, they're not going to get across that mountain. I know that for a fact. So let's just keep those those guys there. Okay. So that's the south done. Um, Corleth. Um, okay. I wonder if now that we've done picking up elves, that we might be best bringing Corleth to help Morkin. It's a long way for him to go. Uh, alternatively, he can try to support um, Rothran. Yeah, let's unhide. Let's move Rothran to see what he's coming across first. Head north. You got frozen waste ahead there, look. What's in here? He found shelter and is refreshed. Okay, there's a tower here. Sorry, wrong button. So, uh, that's going to be the Tower of Fadrath, I think. Of, uh, yeah, Fadrath. And then we've got the Plains of Fadrath and then Lawhenge. If we can make it to Lawhenge without being accosted in, you know, you know, and severely accosted, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, we might be able to actually get the... If you remember, there was a message that said that the uh, Lawgrim the Wise is able to destroy the Ice Crown. So we want to we want to get that. If we can find him and bring him back, that could be a good job done. In which case, Corleth probably... Let's get him to Morkin. Because if, I mean, as long as Morkin can do his job, as long as somebody's got the Ice Crown, I think, my, well, I, th I think only Morkin can carry it. Yeah, I think Morkin can, it's only him that can carry it. Let's unhide him anyway. Okay. Okay, let's go back to these battles. What happens at the uh, Citadel of Marrakith? There's no troops around us. There's a couple going... Now, oh, that's the northwest. In the Battle of Marrakith, Lord Marrakith lost five warriors. He slew 50, uh, 15 of the enemy. His warriors slew 110. His riders slew 125. Battle continues. Got 495 warriors and 500 riders. Uh, but they're all very tired. Okay, Shimmerill doesn't have that many left. Oh, he's got 800 riders. I, I missed that. Okay, and Lord Blood, Blood is uh, doing okay. Let's just check out what happened with Lord Blood. We don't need to go through the uh, through the all of them, I don't think. Uh, he alone slew 55 of the enemy. His warriors slew 350. His riders slew 300. The battle continues. How many is left in the enemy army? 130 warriors and 10 riders. Is that it? Okay. Uh, it looks like we're going to win this battle. Um, blood is invigorated. Let's see what state um, these guys here are in. 30 of the enemy. His warriors slew 95. His riders slew 70. We didn't lose anyone. That's good. Kumar. Lost 175 and 190. Yeah, they gave as good as they got. I, th I think that... Yeah, he's he kind of lost a lot of troops, though. I think that's probably because his troops are so tired. His army's so tired. Oh, no, hang on. This is Kumar, sorry. 175 warriors. 190 riders, so kind of two, not about 200. 400, sorry. And he only slew 45, so 450... Uh, his warriors slew 230 and 250. Yeah, so he, he, yeah, I mean, he lost a lot. Wow, okay. But the battle is still going on. Let's see how many of the enemy has got left here. 
The army has, um, which with uh, Doom Dark, the Witch King is an army of 1,400 warriors, 2,645 riders. This is a big, big battle. I don't think we can win that. Um, 750 warriors, 980 riders. 20 warriors and 3 um, in the keep. And that is it. Yeah, so they're up against 4,000 troops. Yeah, kind of crazy. Crazy numbers. All right. Um, we can probably try to escape. What's going on with this guy? Utarg. Riders are tired. Okay. Okay, we managed to go round um, Doom Dark's troops. We'll probably find this one is taken as well. Um, riders are very tired. Yeah, going through the mountains, they're tired as out. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to run with these. Found shelter and is refreshed. Okay, we're inv we're very invigorated again. Okay, let's get let's see what we've got in front of us. One thousand two hundred warriors. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, we got fifteen hundred. I don't. We don't really want to meet them in the field there. I don't think. Let's get them to this. Yeah, we're going to have to attack. Get them involved in this battle here. So, um, yeah, Lord of Kumar's joined this battle. We should be able to route these guys off. I think if we can... If we can avoid having too many enemies pile on us, I think being able... You know, kind of riding around these guys and then getting some to, you know, to heal up and rest is probably the way to go. Now, is there anyone... Let's see who here. Right, we've got Shimmeril here. They're utterly tired and quite tired. He's got 595 warriors, 800 riders. Um, okay. Marrakis really, really tired. His troops are tired. Kumar's doing okay and Blood will be doing okay. His warriors are utterly tired and cannot continue. That's the Lord of Dawn. 780 warriors for 560. Right, Lord of Dawn probably wants to go and get, get some uh, rest. I think we can probably go back this way to the east. Yeah, that is east. So... Maybe not. Okay. Two. Let's just fight those. Okay. Found shelter and is refreshed. Okay, his warriors are very tired. His riders are quite tired. There's another one of those villages ahead. So let's go and rest in that one too. I'm going to resupply. Oh, we found nothing in that one. Unfortunate. Okay. Okay. Well, we do need to, you know, kind of send these guys out for more supplies. I, I assume that's what it means. So it's funny. I've been playing um, uh, the John Tiller war games as well, and they use the same concept. They call it fatigue in that and um you know military units get fatigue they gain fatigue and then when they rest up and have time to replenish basically they, they lose their fatigue and it's kind of says you know fatigue doesn't literally mean just people being physically tired it's not just that it's also kind of wear and tear of equipment and uh you know other things like that you know yeah but mostly wear and tear of equipment so i think it probably is the same i i think about it in the same way as in this in this game you know it's not just physical tiredness it's also you know like broken swords fixing armor that kind of things you know re re uh, provisions all right gosh 30 minutes already it looks like we're mostly done thrall can move and we got uh, dreadgrim as well Maybe we move Dreadgrim over towards the uh, this way, and we move him over towards the uh, to to help Luxor. Yeah, I think there's probably not going to be that much over to the other uh, to the south now. Certainly nothing 
that is going to be that important to do. Wow, there's a lot of wolves. <laughs> this is the Forest of Wolves. Yeah, they're, they're all tired, so let's get him resting here. I think you can only use these villages once. I think that's how it works. Okay. There's another lord ahead of us. The Lord Trawn. Okay, we can approach him. It's dawn and Trawn is utterly invigorated. The ice fear is mild. Trawn is very afraid. He's carrying nothing. Okay, Trawn has recruited 150 warriors from the Keep of Trawn. Commands 900 warriors and 400 riders. Awesome. Okay, let's get these guys um, to go and help Luxor, I think. But which is the best way? That way. So we just carry on heading to the west. Found wild horses. Okay, we, we, we managed to recruit some more troops. And more here too. Okay, that's good. So, we've got another lord. Lord Trawn. With a nice moon-shaped uh, cre uh, crescent moon on his shield. Okay, Lord of Dregrim is going to continue to the west as well. All right. Where is Thrall? That's what we want to know. Uh, warriors and, are utterly invigorated. Yeah, Thrall needs to head, uh, to, I think, towards to try to support Morkin if we can. But we've got to see what we can see. Okay, there's a lot of armies there. A lot of armies. Wow. Fight those war Let's fight those Skullkrin. Um, uh oh. Okay, we just bumped into an army, and this looks like there's a few of them as well. Yeah, Doomdark's got a lot of armies. He's got a lot of armies. Yeah, we'll head towards this keep, and then we'll, we'll the citadel, and we'll we'll try to re replenish. That's the keep of Shimmeril, by the looks of it. Oh, uh, okay, we've got an uh, enemy army here, riders too. 935 uh, riders. Yeah, we've got a small army. Okay, we'll see what happens. We might have to escape from that one. All right, uh, guys, I'm going to end the episode here because otherwise it's going to go on for a long, long time. Uh, Tim Reth is still staying at this keep, isn't he? They're utterly tired. Okay. He's found shelter and is re refreshed. Utterly tired and very tired. Let's just try this one as well. Found shelter and is refreshed. Very tired, very tired. Okay. Yeah, let's get him to stay here. All right, folks. I'm going to end the episode there anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.